Oh boy, someone escaped again. Look at her like, I'm guilty. Anyway, aloha everyone. This is Cheryl here, aka Gardening with Aloha. And today I have some things to do in the garden, like I need to trim all of this guinea grass back. And some of that guinea, guinea grass over there I need to trim. So I'll be back when I'm done. Hey guys, I just wanted to share something with you guys. So I was uh, trimming the guinea grass you know, the one that I dislike and takes over the garden. And, you know, if you don't uh, dig it out, it'll take over the whole garden. But anyway, right now it's in, um, it's blooming. So, you know, what I did is I gathered up all the guinea grass seeds. Let me show you. So this is what it looks like. And you know, look at the chickens, they are loving it. They're eating all the the tops, the seeds. It looks like, um, almost like wheat, huh? But anyway, let's see how my, my young chickens in here likes it. Here we go, let's see how they like it. I'm just gonna toss it in their coop. And they love weeds and all kinds of... Let's see if they go for the... Oh, there. She ate the top. She's kind of like nibbling on the seeds. Anyway, they love it. And since I'm in the process of trimming the guinea grass, I'm gonna save some of the seeds. Over here, I just, um, just weeded a little so, you know, it. you guys can see the plants instead of the weeds. And then let me show you um, the guinea grass that I trimmed uh, back. Here's the uh, guinea grass that I trimmed back. You can see now it's more, you know, wide and more open. So my sweet potatoes can get, you know, the sun that they need. But you know what? I seen um, my, one of my... Easter Eager, the Aracana chickens, she was getting kind of like, she was making these weird noises like upset or you know something. These chickens, they have all different types of noises and um, they make different sounds and you know, you if you've been around chickens a lot, you kind of know the different sounds that they make like they get upset or they get excited or they're hungry. But you know what? She was making all these weird noises and I was like, what the heck? Like, and then she was like right, staying like right around here while I was trimming the guinea grass. You can see, and then guess what? I was like, some. I think, I bet you she has eggs over here somewhere. And sure enough, guys, I hope you guys can see. But, oh, I should have got a stick, but I think you can see the eggs right there. Those are her eggs, and you know, the other eggs are um, one of my other chickens. So they're both laying in here, and I knew, I was like, something is up, but yay, I found the eggs. 
so let me let me um show you the the carrot seeds and before I do that I wanted to show you this the coconut the leaf it fell right down onto my um Okinawan spinach I have to go and trim this off later the carrot seeds guys I think some are ready they are brown and pretty much these ones are dried so I got oh a bee shoot I invaded her privacy here but e those ones are ready and also there's some on this side you see all the carrot seeds so I gotta go get um, I'm, I want to get my scissors so I can um, clip the ones that are ready because some are not so I don't want to you know clip the whole head and then I still can get more seeds out of this one head there's the bee again It's such a beautiful day. Let me show you the sky. Nice and blue and sunny and breezy. Just the way I like it. I would like it to be overcast, but oh well. I wanted to um, show you guys this pretty Cuban oregano. Flower. I've never um, seen the flower before, but now I do. Look at how beautiful it is. It's kind of like a violet color. My husband is working on the chicken coop over there. He doesn't like to be filmed, but I'm just going to take a short clip. But it's so hot, you guys. Ooh, I feel like grabbing the umbrella. And, and then taking a walk around my garden. But... I just cleaned up a little in my garden. Ooh, my lettuce is coming along there. Also the baby ones too. The garlic chives. And then this tomato plant. It's putting out a lot of um flowers and stuff. So I wanted to like build some type of um you know like a um use one of my wire cages and then make like a um like a hoop out of it and and then put all of the tomato vines like kind of like over it because this tomato plant is doing good there's a lot of tomatoes coming on you see, there's some on the bottom. Those ones are going to get ripe any day now. But there's also like little baby ones coming. There's medium-sized ones. And there's flowers. So that's what I have to do. But I just wanted to share with you what I did today. And just a little short walk around the garden. I hope everybody has a beautiful and safe day anyway take care and mahalo for watching bye